was born um, and raised in South Australia in a country town called Port Perry. My father had horses, so I was sort of born into the harness racing game and it just, yeah, took off from there. So it was something that was just a hobby as the country town we grew up in, it wasn't possible to be a full-time job. Sort of, um, you know, a little bit surprising and unexpected. I drove a horse for Andy Gath in South Australia and then there was a job offered to me, you know, to commence in Victoria and it's a little bit unsure at the start, but we had a go and we just got along, you know, really well and then ended up getting married and yeah, here we are, you know, 15 years later. As a female in a male-dominated sport, I've always felt as an equal and I guess that's, you know, pretty lucky compared to a lot of other jobs in the world. The more successful I became, I probably uh, did get treated a little bit harsher on the track, <laughs> a little bit harder to win races, but overall really, really being treated, um, you know, just like one of the boys. One of the biggest highlights was winning three breeders' crowns, particularly with one of our own horses, Catch a Wave, and winning the two-year-old divisions was something that I've always wanted to achieve. Driving horses in a Group 1 race at that speed, particularly if they have gate speed, is a feeling that there is none better and like one I'm lucky to experience often. That feeling that you can't get unless you're an elite athlete at the Olympics, it's something that most people in their everyday life probably can't feel and I really wish that everyone could feel it. Running is a real passion of mine and I feel like mentally it's just something that I need to do to clear my head and it's just really enjoyable and I'm pretty sure the endorphins at the end of it have something to do with it. My last long run fell on Breeders' Crown weekend. It was 36 k's. I managed to get it in on the Friday when I had eight drives that Friday night. But winning the $60,000 Group 2 race with Tango Tara made it all worth it, despite my legs aching for eight hours straight. Coming into this marathon, I'm feeling a bit of trepidation, a bit of fear, the fear of failure, the fear of uh, not running it fast enough. It's not something that I want to do just to say, I've jig jogged a marathon. It's something I want to do to, you know, achieve the best result that I can achieve for myself and be proud of. It's been something that I've wanted to do for eight long years. There was pretty good atmosphere in the in the G, so when you ran into it, you know, there was quite a crowd and stuff, so it was pretty up there, but um, the pain had kicked in at that stage, so I was just keen to get there as well. I went under 3.30, so went a little bit quick too early, I think, and then um, the last few Ks were a little bit slower, but overall, um, yeah, it was um, a time that I wanted to achieve, so it was good. Yeah, I'm proud that I was able to get there and do it and hope to do it again.